Good morning, folks. I'm meteorologist Tim Howard, and this is your latest WITN first alert forecast for Wednesday, May 31st, uh, June 1st, tomorrow. First day of the hurricane season tomorrow. We've got an outside chance for something trying to get going in the Gulf. Uh, this is a non tropical low, this swirl of clouds off our coast. Uh, clouds out of that, uh, again, a little stray raindrop or two. This is the area the Hurricane Center is watching down here. Here's Florida Panhandle, a broad area of low pressure over the Gulf of Mexico, kind of easing uh, westward or eastward the next few days, expected to move maybe over Florida towards the Gulf Stream as we head out towards, let's say, late weekend, early next week. Low end chance that this would become Arlene, about a 20% chance over the course of the next five to seven days. Again, looking out towards the weekend in the next week. A lot of time to watch, see how this comes together. Not often you get something developing uh, this early in the season, but once in a while uh, we can get a weak storm. So we'll watch down there, but right now, no worries. Alrighty, headlines for the day today. Again, more clouds than sun, but not a lot of rain. Yesterday we did get a few showers into the afternoon. Less coverage today. Isolated stray shower, warm, muggy, breezy. That one to 15, gusting 20. Again, highs upper 70s, muggy upper 70s this afternoon. There's those few showers that popped yesterday. This morning looks good. A sprinkle on the coast. That's about it. There's a look at the radar. This is back at 4:30 a.m. A little sprinkle or two on the outer banks. Uh, rain chance 10 to 20 percent uh, today. Not much again, folks. Same thing tomorrow. A little 20 percent are there as we get into the afternoon. I can't completely say no rain, but there won't be much through the end of the week. Air temps out the door. Let's call it mid 60s, maybe low 60s by the time we hit sunrise at 6 a.m. Uh, north northeast wind 10 to 15. Again, you see the wind into the afternoon sustained 10, gusting 10 over that, so gusting 20 ish this afternoon. Similar uh, day tomorrow. You see that low off the coast. See those arrows that turning counterclockwise. That's that weak low off the coast uh, bringing the clouds in tomorrow. Same deal. Air around that low coming in out of the north to northeast at about 10 through the afternoon. That keeps those temps uh, just below 80, generally a little below normal, upper 70s today, tomorrow as well. The muggy air doesn't cool very well, so continuing to see mid 60s at night. Alrighty, the big map, there's the low off the coast that I just alluded to. Uh, the flow around the low, that north breeze capping those upper 70s this afternoon. Again, not much rain. I put a little green north of us, straight raindrop or two. I think most of us stay dry, some rain on the Gulf Coast and rain out west, kind of hanging out back here for the next several days. We'll watch this little pesky low drifting around off the coast through the end of the week. Again, clouds, yes, rain, not so much. You look at the model data here Thursday afternoon, stray raindrop. I'm holding my 20%. Same deal Friday, a stray shower or two. Afternoon hours at about 20% as that low drifts. Down to the south. This cold front, by the way, looks like right now Saturday night into Sunday, this front coming through. So a little better chance for rain, maybe out of that guy uh, leaning more to Sunday right now than Saturday. Uh, here's how it shakes out 20% today, tomorrow, Friday, uh, highs upper 70s to near 80. And then Saturday, uh, just 20% chance of a shower there. 83 Saturday, uh, Saturday night, Sunday, rain chance up to about 30%. Not a lot of rain, but a little action trying to get in with that front. 77 for the high. Another decent rain chance trying to build in on Tuesday. 40% high near 80 degrees.